Welcome! In this guide I will be covering how to build two different microagents and make them interact with one another. All you need is to have set up your environment. To do so, please make sure you check out our earlier videos. Let's start by entering the directory we created for our project. Now, let's create a file named agentcommunications.py. Now, we are ready to start writing some code. We use the microagents library to import everything we need to create our microagents. We want our two microagents to exchange messages. To do so, we need to import a new class model which helps us define generic messages. We need to specify a custom data model for messages. A custom data model defines the fields and properties of an object, allowing the representation of structured data in a meaningful way. Here, the custom data model message is defined as a class with a single field message of type string. Any message sent using the message data model will have a message field containing a string value. By defining a custom data model for a message, we can ensure that the message's data is structured and can be easily parsed and manipulated by the receiving agent. Here we created our two new agent instances with agents named Alice and Bob. To make our two microagents interact, we can define a function called sendMessage from Alice to Bob. This is a decorator that defines a periodic behavior for this agent. In this case, the agent, Alice, will execute the sendMessage function every 3 seconds. This defines the behavior to be executed periodically by the agent. This function sends a message to Bob every 3 seconds using the send method of the context object. The function uses the send method of the context object to send a message to Bob's address. The send method takes two arguments, the recipient's address and the message to be sent. In this case, the recipient's address is retrieved from the bob.address attribute and the message is created using the message data model with the message string as the value for the message field. Now, we will define a message handler function for Alice to help handle or receiving messages from Bob. This decorator makes the function executable every time Alice receives a message from Bob matching the message data model. The function takes three arguments, CTX, sender and message. The CTX argument is the context object for the agent. The sender argument is a string that contains the address of the agent that has sent the message and the message argument is an instance of the message data model that contains the data of the received message. This method is uh, logging information about the received message, the sender address and the message text using an app string. Now, we need to define a message handler function for Bob to help handle all receiving messages from Alice. This decorator makes the function executable every time Bob receives a message from Alice matching the message data model. function 
like before, takes three arguments, CTX, sender and message. The CTX argument is the context object for the agent. The sender argument is a string that contains the address of the agent that has sent the message. And the message argument is an instance of the message data model that contains the message data of the received message. This method logs information about the received message, the sender's address and the message text using an F string. The function uses the send method of the context object to send the message to Alice's address. The send method uh, takes two arguments, the recipient's address and the message to be sent. In this case, the recipient's address is retrieved from the alice.address attribute, and the message is created using the message data model with the message string as the value for the message field. Now that we have defined the agents and their behaviors, that we need to add both agents to the bureau in order to run them from the same script. We are ready to run the script. Make sure that you save your file and make sure that you are in the right directory for your project and that you activate your virtual environment. On your terminal, run the script. As you can see, here we have our output. Here Bob receives a message from Alice, denoted by this address, saying hello there Bob every three seconds. Bob then handles the message and replies back to Alice. Alice here receives a message from Bob represented by this address saying hello there Alice. Great! Here we have our two microagents interact with one another.